you. And now let's show you El Grove, where the wind caused a tall pine tree to crash into a house. That happened on Celery Court near El Grove Boulevard. And KCRA 3's Claire Duan is live there now to tell us how one very fortunate homeowner is doing tonight, Claire. Fortunate indeed, Rob and Edie. We are talking about one massive tree. I want to show you how big the roots are. Take a look. Bear in mind, this is a 50 foot tree. I also want to show you the side view because while the roots are wide, it is not very shallow. Take a look. The width of the roots there, about a foot, a foot and a half. That's why when the winds came, it toppled this tree. Looking at this, a close call would be an understatement for Tracy Tillotson. She sensed something before the three decades old pine tree toppled into her home. I had a premonition. Something told me to leave the home. So I left for about 10 minutes and I came back in the house. The tree was in my house. One neighbor next door heard the crash in the middle of the afternoon and came out to see this from her backyard. I heard like crack, it almost sounded like an earthquake or something, and then bang. And I actually thought something fell on our house. Nobody got hurt, and luckily the tree missed the buried gas lines in the front yard. Crews tell us the halfway fracturing of the tree helped limit the damage, but still. It fell onto our bedroom, so there's damage into our bedroom, a skylight, and then there's branches coming through our son's room, which is on the other side of our bedroom. Fire crews spent much of the evening shoring up the inside of the home to stabilize the structure. We had a lot of rain earlier this week, which certainly uh, softened the ground, and then today we had significant wind gusts, so I'm certain that that contributed to the fall. A fall that, while unexpected and un Unfortunate could have ended much worse. Nobody was hurt. It stayed on our property. No vehicles were damaged. No people. No animals. I'm thankful for that. The homeowner tells us that the insurance company was out earlier today assessing the damage. They are sending crews out here to chop up and remove the tree.